Hi friends, in this video, we will see how to configure outgoing call routing in Eternity Any. Outgoing call routing configuration for all the extensions in Eternity Any remains the same. Consider a scenario, a CO central office trunk and a mobile trunk is connected to Eternity on CO port 1 and mobile port 1 respectively. Case 1, when SLT1 that is 21 dials trunk access code TAC1, it should get access of trunk port 1. On dialing TAC2, it should get access of mobile trunk port 1. Case 2, when SLT2 that is 22 dials trunk access code 1, it should get access of mobile trunk port 1. Let us start with the configuration. Login to GUI as system engineer. Go to SLT extension 1 that is 21. Followed by select trunks for outgoing calls. There are two trunk access code by default TAC1 that is 0 and TAC2 that is 5. We can add up to 6 TACs in extension and feature codes menu. Double click on the trunk allowed for dialing 0 field. Select CO trunk 1 and remove the remaining trunks if any using delete button on keyboard. Similarly, double click on the trunk allowed for dialing 5 field. Select mobile trunk 1 and remove the remaining trunks. Submit the page. If SLT1 that is 21 dials stack 1, the call will be routed through CO trunk 1 and if it dials TAC2, the call will be routed through mobile trunk 1. This completes the outgoing call configuration for SLT port 1. Now let us see the configuration for SLT2 that is 22. Go to SLT extension 2 that is 22 followed by select trunks for outgoing calls. Double click on the trunk allows for dialing 0 field. Select mobile trunk 1. Submit the page. If SLT2 that is 22 dials TAC1, the call will be routed through mobile trunk 1. This completes the entire configuration. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries and support, contact Matrix Technical Support Team. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Matrix Concept.